stove after this recording this video. Fuck. All right, YouTube, my fault, bro. We better start over, bro. This this story crazy as hell too, bro. Listen to this shit. Start it. What the fuck? Come so on. It's a you. big freak, nigga. He's a freak, and I'm in his cell. See, here's what I didn't know. That before they put me in her, about that hole in the wall. Uh huh. He had a hole in the wall. So what he did, back then they let inmates back in them days work in the engineering department so they can get all the tools and stuff out of there. He took a sheet of newspaper and put some cement on a thin slit, <laughs> blowed up something like a balloon and put some baby powder in there and tied it and pressed it up in the hole, then put that, that little paper with the, the newspaper on it, painted over the hole mm -hmm. and painted it. Well, when you, it looked like the wall. Ain't nothing, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's the wall. So he had it where when he run his hand through there and that big bust, it'll sound like bricks and shit falling out of, out of the wall, right? Mm. And all that white stuff floating in the air, it's like, you would think that's fragments of the cement, dust or something well, like why that. Why did he do that? To get booty. He's a freak, bro. A lot of people in the penitentiary, all this raping people, they don't go through them episodes. They go through tricking you out of your butt. I don't understand. So he, he created the wall. No, the wall was, look, can I stand up? Yeah, you can stand up. Okay. <laughs> Picture. Well, I can't, I can't, well, yeah, just. Yeah, gotta, right here. Yeah, yeah. This is the wall. Uh-huh. This is part of the story, y'all. Oh, YouTube, this is now watching. This is part of the story. While I was like, this nigga, these niggas in prison, prison are super villains, bro. The wall already had a hole in it. Okay. What he did, he took a plastic thing, like a balloon, like, and blowed it up with a, and put some, put some baby powder in it and blowed it up and tied it, right? Okay. Pressed it up and uh, fitted it in the hole. Uh-huh. So now he took a... A little sheet like it spread some cement over it. And when it got hard, he did like that, taped it around the hole, and then painted it. Well, you can't even tell a hole is in a wall. Right. So at the time when he wants your booty, he gonna argue with you about it, and then run his hand through that, that thing. And when you hear that thing pop, and he pulled his arm out with all that white shit on it and shit floating all in the air. You gonna think he done ran his fist through a goddamn concrete? Oh. So you hear that, YouTube? These niggas in prison are straight up super villains when it comes to that butt. They gon' bro, they want you. What the niggas say? I like it and I want you. We can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. They die by that shit in prison, bruh. This story, bruh, a nigga doing that is, bro, just for your ass, bro. A nigga doing all of that just for them cheeks, bro. That's crazy, bruh. That's crazy. That's that's crazy, bruh. Uh, fight somebody like it. Oh, so, I get it now. So I'm sitting in the cell. He said, uh, hey, I looked up at him. His eyes is red, too. Big old, like I said, his nose about the size of my fist. Just a big, black, ugly nigga. And he said, uh, <laughs> this cell is as much as yours as it's mine's. I ain't say nothing. Well, he had some shorts on that had a bunch of holes in them. Every time he moves his leg, his thing will pop out one of them holes and shit, right? You know, act like he's all, oh, excuse me. He'll put it back in, then he'll move and it'll pop out again. I said, hold up, man. So I went out and I told my friend, I said, hey, what's, what's up with dude, bro? So he said, man, I don't know, man. He said, I don't know none of these people. He said, I just came down here with you. Right. He said, well, here, it gave me a little prayer knife about that big. He stole it out of the kitchen, so I took it in there. So now he got on some different type of shorts. These right here, the holes is like long like this, so a lot of it gonna fall out of these, right? So uh, I'm sitting down on the bed. So he's walking around and he said, uh, the hell with this. 
So I looked over at him to see what he's talking about, right? He said, I'm sick of it. He had a freak book. He said, I'm sick of reading this. So turn off the freak book, right? He said, I want man's real. So I ain't saying nothing. I don't know what this nigga talking about, right? I sat down and right. And I, you, you hear what I'm saying? I said, what? He said, I'm tired of it. I got him fuck, son. <laughs> he got some ass on, bro. I don't know how ass I sat through this whole interview, bro. And, no, no, no. That nigga finally cracked at the end. That nigga did crack at the end, but keeping a straight face through all this, bro. Ow. Ow. Okay. Shit, who's this nigga talking to? So the door's locked, right? Mm -hmm. I said, shit, you got me locked in with this nigga. This nigga killed me here. I was thinking, right? <laughs> so he said, he said something. He said, uh, his thing popped out. So I said, hey, and it's hard this time. When it popped out, it was, it was up. So I like, I said, hey, man, why don't you show me some respect? He said, what? He said, nigga, the only thing I'm going to show you is this big black dick up in your ass, nigga. And he hit that hole, man. That thing said, boom. And he was shaking his arm like, I could have sworn that I saw the wall shake, right? <laughs> and you had never seen that before, though? No. OK. I thought this motherfucker did this. Yeah. I, I mean, I thought he actually ran his hand through this wall. Yeah. And it looked like his arm was stuck. And when he pulled it out, I seen all that white stuff over. I didn't know it was baby powder. Yeah. I thought it was a cement. And he ran up on me. He said, nigga, stand up. Stand up, nigga. Do I gotta fight you, nigga? Look at that. Hey, I couldn't even think, man. I like I'm gonna give this nigga some ass he ain't never had in his life, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out. I'm gonna give this nigga some ass he ain't never had in his life, right? <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Bro, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Bro, that's crazy to say. <laughs> nigga, please, Joseph. No, seriously, I'm trying to figure out. It's all correct, thank you. It's all about to say, bro, you can't. You can't keep a straight face with this. Not with the nigga. Not with the nigga say I'm gonna give some ass. You never had one. This the last video, bro. My stomach can't take no more, bro. Jesus. I'm going to fit this nigga in. I mean, I'm looking at it. <laughs> Whoa! This Wait shit. a minute, bro. Seriously. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to fit this nigga in. I mean, I'm looking at this shit. That's and it's like crazy. that. So I'm like, shit. How can I fit this in me? No, if I can fit that in me or something, right? <laughs> this nigga, crazy. I said, stand up. So I'm like, and I did like it because I'm left-handed. Uh -huh. But I had that knife right here. Oh, and when I moved it, it stuck me. I thought, oh. Now I realize I get it because at first yeah, I- Yeah, because you was just panicking. And then it's just, hey, nigga, I'm going to be in over any way you want me. And you're going <laughs> to get some good ass, bro. I'm going to give it to you. Now for real, bro, I'm not fighting this nigga. <laughs> but when I realized I had that knife on me, I did like it. And, and sliced him. 
I sliced the fuck. Hey, I, oh, excuse me. No, you, no, 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 you can say whatever I, you want to say. I, I sliced this man so bad, man. He couldn't even get up. And he was screaming and hollering inmates and shaking their door, hollering for the guard. So when the guard come up, her, I'm over by the toilet, holding that knife, and I'm shaking it like that. I'm shaking it. They say, put it down, put the weapon down, put it down, just give it to us. It's going to hang off. They were talking, and he was right there laying by the door. He was just in a pool of blood that he couldn't even get up. And I'm like, uh-uh. Well, I you told slide? him, I'm not putting nothing down. Get him out of this cell first. When you want me to put the knife down like this nigga, I'm thinking he can get up and destroy me, yeah, right? Yeah. So they opened the door and they put him on a stretcher. The nurses, everybody, I'm talking about, man, I ripped him. Yeah. And then. How, how did you, how did you. I threw the knife over her. No, 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 I'm saying, how, where'd you slice him at? Everywhere, bro. Ankles, up here, right there, all in the back, arm, leg. I was hitting him everywhere, right? You're not going to get up. So they took me to the hole, but here's, here's what gets me right here. They took me to the hole. Did not even give me a outside charge. See them white people down there? That's what they did down there. They, they wanted, if you black and you, you get hurt. They ain't tripping. Nah. That's crazy. I mean, he not the only person that said that, bro. Like, they done said uh, them there, especially like uh, them, them prison stories from Texas and stuff, bro. They saying, man, they be the the guards and 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 the white folks that run that shit, bro. They be doing that shit so much shit on purpose, bro, to where they they cover it up for you, bro. And it's just it's just sad that they go through that, bro. Like, jokes aside, all that shit is sad, bro. But. I can't say no more today. My stomach is killing me. <clears throat> I don't know when, I don't know, on YouTube, I don't know when y'all seeing this video. But, I watched them like back to back to back. Anyway, the whole interview on Anton channel, I don't want to like take over his, all his shit, bro. Well, I don't want to like take the whole interview and react to it. Y'all go, y'all go on this channel and watch the interview. It's hilarious, bro. It's dope. Anton did his big one on this one. Can't do nothing but give him props. And I uh see y'all in the next one. Peace out.